now i'm come up with this intermediate track and this is the second thing after the basic one if you haven't watched that you should watch if you are very new to the subject and this is not a subject it's a competitive programming a very uh, vast thing i mean which will have with many of the topics from mathematics and definitely in computer science so the topic is for intermediate track is binary search binary search what is this the most popular and most widely used search algorithm first of all it is efficient and also one of the most common use technique that are used to solve variety of problems like varying problems it only work on a sorted set of elements to use binary search the set collection of elements must be sorted first of all searching means you have to find something okay and in binary search you have to sort first. what what the meaning of sort sorting is to arrange in ascending or descending order it depends i mean if you are okay with ascending order that that would be fine the must read thing is good blog to understand it better what is basic implementation so i will share this link you can check this out this is intermediate track of the one so people are trying to help others and why they help others because they want to know this competitive programming sense in others and definitely this clear their uh, their concepts also so this is the tutorial of binary search so let's go through it first of all and let's deep dive in binary search is most popular search, search algorithm okay we have read this if all the names in the words are written down together in order and you want to search for a position of specific name binary search will accomplish this in a maximum 35 iterations okay 35 iterations will be required now binary search work only on a sorted set of element to use binary search on a collection the collection must first be sorted so if you want to find something then you must sort that when binary search is used to perform operation on a sorted set the number of iterations can always be reduced on the basis of the value they have been searched let, so let us consider the following array array 0 1 2 2 9 so this is the array of 10 elements which consists of index 0 to 9 by using linear search the position of the element it would be determined by the ninth iteration okay this is the case to find the eighth element this would be the ninth iteration because ninth element is the tenth iteration zero is that first iteration so let's see how the number of iterations can be reduced by using binary search before we start the search we need to know the start and end of the ranges okay so let's start them low to high the low is zero and the highest is n minus one that is in this above case 10 minus one or nine minus one yes nine minus one now compare the search value uh, compare the search value k with the element located in the median of the lower and upper bound if the value k is greater increase the lower bound else decrease the upper bound this is how we rock i mean we are not going step by step wise what we are doing we are going in the middle then checking the element if the element is greater than this we move we move to right if it is not we move to left so what we have done we have shortened the path the whole path into half and then we are going to shorten it more into half like if we are at four if we found this at left we go to two if we are at two we found it at left we go to one that is the answer that's how it works okay we are not iterating over and over again to reach to it we are going just in half and half like if you are having like a party and we half it and then half it again it goes smaller and smaller in much higher rate okay so referring to the image above this is left this is right right is nine okay this is the array item three a image is four okay you can see this referring to the above image the above, above image the lower bound is zero and the upper bound is nine okay the median of the lower and upper bound is lower plus upper by two that is four okay the lower bound is lower plus upper zero plus nine by two that is four this is integer sorry this is volume we are not taking that integer so here a4 is 4 the value 4 is greater than 2 definitely so which is the value that you are searching for therefore we don't need to conduct a search of any element beyond 4 and the element belong beyond it will obviously be a greater than 2 okay so we are shorting over range from 0 to 4 and we know that 2 is smaller than 4 so we are going to it over here on the left hand side now therefore we can always drop the upper bound of the array to the position of element 4 now we follow the same procedure on the same array with the following values the better thing is we are taking higher than 3 okay from 0 to 3 repeat the procedure recursively until low greater than high what, what this means like if you get something and high is 2 and low is 3 or high is 1 and low is 2 so if this case happen we immediately stop and what does that mean you have found that element any iteration we get a mid is equal to k we return value of the mid this is the position of k in the array if k is not present in the array we return minus 1 okay this is the implementation let's, let's look at this we have a binary search function here int integer low integer high integer key okay three integers have been passed over here and what we do is why low greater than smaller than equal to high this is the uh, common sense i mean the low is will be obviously smaller or if it is equal then also it work okay so int mid is equal to low plus high by 2 l plus h by 2 and if a mid smaller than key key is what key is we have to find this okay think in this particular example we have taken key as 2 so if 2 is smaller than 4 if key is greater than a mid here we have taken key greater than then low is equal to mid plus, mid plus 1 okay in this particular case we are going to reduce it but here if key is smaller is greater than a mid what does it mean a mid a mid is here and key is greater than that so what we are going to do we are going to move right over. okay so in this particular case the low would be mid plus one that is five if we take mid as four okay else if if a mid is greater than key what does it mean key is two a mid is four in the above case so what we do is high is equal to mid minus one that is four minus one is three so high will one be three and else return mid if we got lucky then we find the key in the mid region i mean if four is the key then this is the case if this happens they but they will definitely return four from this function and at last we will get return minus one if key not found okay so th this can be a possible case like if your answer is uh, if you, you are array contain all uh, positive even integer and some odd integer you have to find and what will get you will return minus one that is key not found so this is a time complexity thing i will talk about this later also so in particular case here we dispose of one part of search case during every step of binary search and perform the search operation on the other half this result is worst case time complexity of o log n2 log base to n okay we'll discuss about this later on so this is how we read about binary search okay so this is a, your understanding for your understanding purpose you have to solve this problem to find 
input output that's how complicated programming works okay you have this you can choose any language whatever you like you like c plus plus you like java you like python go ahead write the code test it submit it and you will get the answer that whether your whether your program is working or not okay now coming with this this is problem the same thing i mean okay so these are the problem based on that do it these are very easy try first of all very easy thing don't be disheartened if you are not able to solve this also because you are at your basic level basic phase okay do small things and achieve big goals we'll, we'll do some problems also in future but first of all try to read this now must watch a youtube video for better understanding in visualization of algorithm for more grip go ahead with this okay this is a binary search tutorial video i mean he's a grandmaster if you are if you are familiar with code forces then he's a grandmaster over there he's right even problems we try to solve problems he write problems he is expertise in that level i mean he's rank one also i mean he has solved many of the problems in very less time and this is very good read this go ahead with complexity big complexity of find where to go function login where n is equal to range of space and find where to go function determine where whether to go to the left range or right range okay so this is big complexity this topic is recursion recursion means doing something smartly actually in, in much easier sense uh, like have you ever played domino what we do we just move one matchbox and all the matchbox fall down that's how recursion works recursion generally means calling a function inside the same function like you are trying to do something within something to invoke something time and again okay so this is the example recursion like void function int n if n is smaller than one return return nothing to return zero else print n function n minus n by 2 what we have done over here like it is if n is greater than the one it will go to else condition okay so recursion generally means calling a function inside the same function this is the example recursion where void function is a function with integer int as parameter and if n is smaller than equal to 1 then that case would be return nothing but if n is greater it will evoke a function again that's how the calling of function takes place i mean you are in a function and you are calling the function within it the bool function the bool this function will be invoke over here with it and n by 2 just n by 2 okay so that's how recursion works and that is very good and very interesting thing if you go in the we should have a terminate base case because if there isn't a base case the process won't terminate okay this is also should be taken in consideration because if you don't use this base case then what will happen n by 2 n by 2 n by 2 will go on forever till infinity and your program will crash definitely so you have to have a terminate base case now must watch playlist how and where exactly recursion work let's see this playlist definitely if code, code chef is providing something that is much worth so this is the playlist of aditya verma try this out learn things and definitely if you give time to these things now you will be at a very good level your understanding will be at a very level the more you concentrate focus on small things the better you will gain your concepts okay so this playlist explains recursion with concise way so uh, i would say i think it's over yes so the intermediate thing is over now what i want to say over here is follow this thing very sincerely follow these tracks very sincerely and do what they are trying to teach okay and you will definitely see a better performance of yourself now this is see these many people are still watching one two three four five so code check is doing very great thing to help us by these tracks of day one and this is the intermediate track i will share this link in the description and try to read this study this and the much you gain the familiarity with these concepts the more you will be able to perform better in competitive programming so thanks a lot for watching bye